Hello my dear family members, today we will quickly go through some pseudocode problems which were asked on 6th September Accenture on Campus Drive 2023. So let's see without any delay. So the first question is this, please pause the video and try to give the answer as fast as possible, right? Okay, without any delay, I am solving. Actually, I have written the equivalent Python code here. Let's comparison between them and try to understand this. So at first even and total were initialized as zero, then we are taking input n and uh, while even less than n, that means we, we have taken n as eight, right? Here it is mentioned. And when we are going inside the loop, we are checking at first even is less than or equal to n. Yes, at first even is zero. That's why it is less than eight. So total is equal to total plus even. So total is equal to zero, even is equal to zero. So at first, the, in the first loop, the value of total is equal to zero, right? And even is equal to even plus two. So even was zero at zero plus two is two, right? So this is two. And again, it goes to the second iteration. So in second iteration, even is equal to two. So two less than eight. So total is equal to total plus even. So total was zero. Now even is two. So total plus even is equal to two. So this is the value of total now, right? Now even is equal to again incremented to 2. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Now it is again iterating here. So this way actually it is iterating 5 loops. Right. When it comes to 8. So 8 less than equal to 8. Yes. So it will check again and even will be initiated as 10. So now it will check even less than equal to 8. No. 10 less than equal to 8. Not. So this will not go inside the loop. Right. So now it will print the total. So print total will be 8, right? So actually, sorry, total will be 20 here, right? But uh, the total count of loop that is executed, that is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So correct answer will be C, option C, right? Okay, let's go to the next question. That is this. So please pause the video and try to give me the answer, right? Okay, I hope you have paused, right? Okay. As the previous one, I have written the equivalent Python code here. So let's check it. At first, P, Q, R were initialized with these values. Now we are running a for loop from 4 to 5. I mean 4 to 6, but it will go up to 5, right? So it will run for value of 4 and 5, right? So now at first, we will check if 5 minus R plus P greater than this. So 5 minus R means at first R is equal to 4. So 5 minus 4 plus P that is 3. So 5 minus 4 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So 4 greater than this. So P plus Q means 8. So 4 greater than 8. No. So this will go here out of the if condition if block. So it will uh, increment the value of P. So Q plus R right. So Q plus R means R is 4 and Q is 5. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Now Q will be updated as R plus P. So R is 4 and P is 9 so 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 right now it will again go to next loop that means for r is equal to 5 so r is equal to 5 it will check if 5 minus r plus p greater than this so 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 plus p so p value was 18 sorry 9 so 9 greater than this p p plus q q that means uh, sorry a, a 9 plus 13 that is 22 so 9 greater than 22 no so it will go out of the e block now p will be updated again so q was uh, 13 and r was 5 so 13 plus 5 is equal to 18 now q will be updated so r plus p so p was 18 and r is 5 so 18 plus 5 is equal to 23 now it will go again here in the for loop so it will check if it is satisfying or not so r is now 6 so this will not go here right because it is running for 4 and 5 so now it will print the value of p plus q so p was what p was uh, 18 and q was 23 so 23 plus 18 41 right so uh, answer will be 41 please give me your answer if it was right or not right okay let's go to the next question that is this please pause the video and try to give me the answer in the comment section before i give answer right okay let me answer let's check if you are right or not right okay as the previous one i have written the Python code here. So let's check. 
so at first a b and c were initialized with these values now c will be updated so c and 3 plus b so and operation right so c means uh 4 right so 4 is equal to 100 and 3 means 0 1 1 right so if we do and operation between them then 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 so this will be totally a value of 0 right 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 right 0 plus 2 will be 2 at first here so now it will check if 9 and a less than c is or 9 if yes then update this value right so 9 and a means 9 uh, the binary value of 9 is what 10 0 1 right and a is 3 so it will be 0 1, 0 1 1 right so it will do and operation between them so 1 and 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 and 1 0 so 1 and 1 is only 1 so this will be 1 and it will check if less than this c is or 9 so c is what c is uh, 2 right so c is 2 means 0 0 1 0 or 9 so 9 means 1 0 0 1 so it will do zor operation between each other so 0 and 1 means 1 0 and 0 and 1 means 1 0 and 0 means 0 and 1 and 0 means 1 and 0 and 1 means 1 right so 1 0 1 1 means 11 right so it will now go inside the e block so it is satisfying right 1 less than 11 so it will go inside the e block so now c is equal to a plus c plus b so a means uh, 3 c means 2 3 plus 2 is 5 and b means 2 so 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so if as we see that if block is satisfied that's why we will not check the else block so it will directly print the value right so a plus b plus c means a was 3 b was b was 2 so 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and c was 7 so 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 right so the correct answer is 12 right so answer d will be i mean option d will be correct answer so what we saw here that the pseudocode might seem very large but it is often happen that only one if condition satisfied then we don't have to check the other part right so it is very simple right so please do that pseudocode as at, at the first moment right so i hope you have got it right so let's go to the next question but before we go to the next question i would request you to please subscribe my channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and accenture on campus assessment based question right and please guys join my channel right okay let's go to the next question that is this so please pause the video and try to give me the answer right okay i hope you have tried and gi already given the solution in the comment section okay let me show you the answer so at first the value of a b and c were initialized with these values now it will run a for loop for c is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3 so to total two times it will run right now it will update the value of b so c plus b means c is equal to 2 b means 4 so b is equal to 6 if a less than 9 a plus 9 less than 9 minus a so a plus 9 means a is equal to 8 plus 9 so 17 less than 9 minus 8 so 1 17 less than 1 no it will go to the else right so if we go to the else we see that it is break so we will break the for loop now it will not update this value right so after after the for loop we will execute the print value so a plus b means a is 8 and b means 6 so 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 will be printed right so option a will be correct so as simple as that right okay let's go to a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to give me the answer right otherwise it will not be helpful to you just seeing the problem and solving and seeing and knowing this is not correct way right okay let's go to the next question i hope you will give the answer right in the comment section okay now pause and try to give me the answer of this pseudocode okay let's go to the solution part so at first the value of a b and c were initialized now it is checking if b greater than a yes b 7 greater than 1 so it is just passing the value it will do nothing now it is it's updating the value of c 2 and a right and operation will be occurred here so c 2 means uh 2 means 1 0 and 1 means 0 1 right so 1 0 0 0 and 1 0 so it will go i mean it will update the value of c as 0 right now it is checking if a and c and b less than this so a means what a means 1 and c means 0 so 1 and 0 means 0 
and b right so b means 7 so 7 means 1 1 1 right so 0 and 1 0 0 and 1 0 0 and 1 0 so it will give a total value 0 so it is whole together a 0 right so c plus b minus a means c means 0 b so 7 plus 0 7 minus 1 so 6 right so 6 so 0 less than 6 yes obviously so it will go inside the e block so now it will update the value of c as a is or 6 is or c so a is or 6 means a is 1 and 6 means 1 1 0 right 1 1 0 so it will do zor operation between them so 0 and 1 means 1 0 and 1 means 1 1 and 0 means 1 so it will give a total value of 7 7 zor 0 means 7 right so now it will print the value of a plus b plus c so a means 1 b means 7 and c means 7 so 7 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 15 right so correct answer will be option c i hope you have got it if you face any problem any issue with the coding any issue with the pseudocode then please let me know i will give you the solution in the comment section right okay let's go to the next question that is a quiz question for you and the last question of the session so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section right if you have solved all the pseudocode questions which i have solved in earlier videos and this video as well you will get obviously common pseudocode in the exam right so please pause and try to give me all quiz question in this session right before i end the session i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and accenture on campus pseudocode question as well so thank you for today's session